For those who aren't aware uh, of your Oscar and BAFTA nominated um, film, tell us about it. Tells the story of first 20 days of full-scale Russia invasion. And uh, it's told from the perspective of a team of journalists that are stuck in the besieged city of Mariupol and struggling to, to tell the stories of people who are trapped and who are being bombarded indiscriminately, who are dying and just struggling for survival. And we as a team are struggling for sending images out yeah. Uh, from Let's the show city. a clip of the film if that's okay. Here we go. Hit the hospital and uh, people are getting out and they're shot. And this boy, his mom was heavily injured and she was taken away and he's looking for her. And then they hear another airplane going over the hospital so the people start panicking and run back. And uh, suddenly we see <coughs> rescue workers that are carrying Irina, now we know her name, Irina, a pregnant woman, and they carry her in a stretcher. Yeah, this became a symbol of, of Mariupol. I think also Mariupol became a symbol of, because it was the beginning of the full scale, it became a symbol of, of what happened to many other cities afterwards. What is happening now to Avdiivka that is almost being surrounded and being bombed. What is happening, what has happened to Bakhmut, to Marinka, what is happening to Kharkiv, my hometown. Two days ago, it was heavily bombed. A child died, dozens of people were injured. So this is not something that over this is happening right now. It's an illustration and a symbol. What happened for you, Ms. Lafer, to, to think, you know what, I'm going to stay here and I need to document what is happening? A very brave thing to do. But look, millions of people are staying right now in Ukraine <clears throat> and trying to work, trying to live. Doctors are in the hospitals and these hospitals are still getting bombed and, and police and, and the firefighters. So, Everyone is doing the best they can to survive and to keep working. And that's what actually we were doing. We are the part of the community. Also, we are international journalists. So it's like double obligation. And people kept telling us, you have to film this. More like they realize that they have no voice, that they're trapped, no one hears them, no one sees them. More they, when they saw us, kept telling, please, you just have to do this. Because even if they know that journalism cannot save them, you know, we, you cannot stop, stop the bullet at the camera, you cannot stop catastrophic bleeding, but you, ha you can give people a hope that their pain is heard. And that is so important. Every human being on the planet deserves to be heard. It must be bittersweet um, for you to receive the nominations that you have. Yeah, it is, it is a bittersweet moment because this film exists because of the tragedy, because so many people died. And I wish it never exi I would trade everything, like all the recognition, all the awards for just Russia not to attack Ukraine. But it happened. And we got on the records at least something. And now I have to make sure that this is not forgotten. Now I have to make sure that it just does justice to, to people of Mariupol. Uh, I owe this to them. So this, this, this nomination, just means that their story will will carry on. That the Mariupol will not be just a word, you know. It's yeah. so it you, will stand for something. I understand. Um, you're nominated for BAFTAs, nominated for um, Oscars. How are you going to continue to keep the spotlight on Ukraine? All the time I have when I'm not presenting a film to international audiences, I come back to Ukraine and I keep reporting. You know, maybe it's a, a drop in a sea because international attention is shifting. There are many other stories which are very important. They have to, people have to pay attention to. However, we already made this mistake in 2016 when we turned away our attention from Ukraine and kind of forgot about it. And that meant that in 2022, everyone was underprepared for the next wave of the attack. So now we have to make sure we, this not doesn't happen. So I keep. 
I work on a new project, on a new film about the summer counteroffensive. I uh, keep reporting, and the team that was with me in Mariupol so keeps reporting. So we just all keep doing our job. Will you come back and talk to us again as of you uh, progress with that uh, film? As I said, bittersweet, but I do hope and wish you success um, with the Thank BAFTAs you. and also with the Oscar. Thank you for taking the time. Thank, Thank you. you.